Hey church, this is Grayson uh, with another behind the song video for us. Um, it is good to be reminded of truth, to remind ourselves and, and others of truth. And as we sing together as a church family, that's our goal, that, that what we know about God would lead us to worship Him, that right theology would lead us to doxology. A pastor named John Piper says uh, that God gets more glory when we worship on the basis of what we know than when we worship on the basis of what we don't know. And that's true, God has revealed Himself in His Word for the purpose of not just our knowing Him, but for the purpose of our worshiping Him. And there's, there's truths all throughout Scripture, throughout God's revelation, uh, truths about God, uh, about man, and holiness, and sin, salvation, the person of Christ. Um, and these, these truths aren't just taught in one place, they're taught throughout the entire council of Scripture. And we have a name for this, we call it doctrine, it just means teaching. And it's good that we remind ourselves of, of doctrine um, so that we can not only know God rightly, but that we can worship Him rightly. And throughout history, the church has organized some of this doctrine into what we call catechisms. Most of the time it's, it's a, in a question and answer format, and it's just aimed at asking specific questions to lead us to uh, recall and to speak truth um, to ourselves and to, to one another. The song that we're going to be introducing as a church coming up is called Christ Our Hope in Life and Death. And the song is actually based on one of those catechisms. It's actually the first question in the Heidelberg Catechism. And the song is a similar format. We just ask questions to one another and then we answer back to one another uh, with truth. And in the chorus, we get to uh, take all of that and, and it leads us to this um, proclamation, of just hallelujah, our hope springs eternal, that, that Christ is our hope in life and in death. And I love this song because of um, just the way that, that we as a church get to sing it together and to one another. So I want to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll show or read a passage of scripture that, uh, that helps us understand where a song comes from or helps us to, to understand a part of a song. But I want to put several passages of scripture up on the screen and they'll be on the screen for you guys to see. And my encouragement to you would be uh, maybe sometime before we sing this song or, or when, when you see that we're going to sing this song as a church family, just to read through some of these passages of scripture, uh, just to prepare your heart for worship. And uh, don't just sing lyrics, but, but really be reminded and, and exult in the truths of God's word, of who Christ is for us. And um, we get to proclaim that to one another. Um, so church, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that we get to sing this song together. And I'm looking forward to worshiping alongside you.